Hi and welcome to a follow-up video uh, which is about print watch for Octoprint. Now if you've been following my videos you will have seen one of the recent ones I've done was about the print watch uh, plugin for Octoprint. It's designed to stop your printer if it identifies it's like a, a bird's nest or, or something going wrong with the print uh, and stop it before it gets in a real mess. Now when I reviewed it recently um, I had a few issues and basically I thought it was effectively broken. Uh, it was identifying correctly when there was a problem on the print but it simply would not stop the printer. And that's on the Mark III that I've got here and also my Prusa Mini. And I did extensive tests and I think only perhaps one time did it stop the printer. So I've done quite a few tests on the new version, the improved version. And let's have a look at the application uh, to see what's changed. So here we have the print watch plugin settings. And previously all the way here this this is how it was set up on my previous video we've got the advanced options in the new version uh, which allow two particular settings to tailor when the printer will shut off depending on how many detections it sees now here we have the print watch documentation which explains which what each particular uh, new field does so you can actually tailor when the printer will shut off depending on the number of detections it identifies. So th this is really what, it, what has actually changed uh, the way it works and I must say I'm really happy that they've gone in this direction and improved the product. Now another advantage with the PrintWatch application is that you can remotely monitor by your webcam uh, the progress of your print. Um, now you can do that on a, a PC or on your mobile phone and you don't have to be at home on your local network you can just use 4G or 5G on your phone uh, so here's an example of it on screen at the moment um, it, with PrintWatch it takes a snapshot every sort of 10-15 seconds or so to evaluate what's on there so you're not getting a live streaming feed as such second by second uh, it shows the snapshots that you can also view in Octoprint uh, on the print watch application so it's showing you that but you can actually remote control the printer as well should you need to uh, so you can stop resume uh, a print if, if need be so that's a, a really good feature to have uh, remote access to your printer uh, but that, that's all part of the package. Now, pricing. I'm just going to mention that uh, look, looking at the PrintWatch website, uh, it does cost around, I think, $9 for the first printer, and thereafter it's $4 for any other printers. That's per month. So that may not be suitable for everybody if you're just looking for a free solution. But then again, there aren't very many free solutions out there. Even Spaghetti Detective, I believe, is a subscription-based service. So it's up to you whether you want this particular solution. Um, it is very handy if, you, if you're printing a lot and you're not around uh, to cover any failed prints. Uh, the ability to stop those prints either automatically or view it on your phone, keep an eye on your phone. I think that's pretty good. Uh, what else can I say? Uh, when I was testing I was just using a little Logitech C270 um, which is quite a basic um, webcam. I did say in the last video I was going to upgrade my cameras. I haven't yet because I was actually waiting for PrintWatch to improve their product which they have done. So now I'm going to make sure that I've got webcams for both printers. In the testing I was just using the one and switching it between the two. Uh, so that's probably about it. Um, PrintWatch, which I thought was broken, 
originally in my first video I can now conclude that it's working very well uh, certainly for myself I've done quite a few tests over the last uh, couple of days and each time surprisingly and very welcomed uh, each printer has actually stopped I didn't even have to tweak the default uh, new buffer settings uh, that they, they worked extremely well um, I couldn't believe how different it was from the, the first test that I actually did uh, so both printers uh, stopped no problem at all I probably could tweak them to, so the print stops a little bit earlier but obviously you, you do run the risk of false positives if you have it uh, too sensitive but uh, the default settings were a good balance uh, and it did stop the print when it when it went, went wrong. I was using the same uh, torture tower that I did on my first video, um, so that that was a good comparison. Uh, same print, um, which is designed to fail almost immediately, um, and I definitely re uh, recommend it uh, if you want to have that sort of service. Right, if you like this video, uh, please do a like and subscribe so I can carry on doing further videos and hope to see you soon. Thank you.